We'll get started by going to layout and we'll grab a horizontal arrangement and then another one. And then we'll scroll up and go to user interface. We'll drag a button in as well as a password text box. Now we'll rename button one login so that we can find it later in code easier. And also we'll rename the text for button one login. Now I'm going to put a picture in, an image, and I'm going to set the visibility to be non-visible. I'm going to upload a picture of my dog. This is going to be the payoff for when you get the correct password. This could be anything else, obviously. I'm also going to put a label in, and the label is going to be blank for now. We'll create a global variable, and we'll name it password. And I'm just going to hard code it to be 1, 2, 3, 4 right off the bat. Somebody pushes the login button. We're going to test uh, what they typed in into the password text box. So the password text box text and see if it equals the variable. If it does, then we'll do whatever code we need to do here. In this case, we're going to set image 1 to be visible. But if they get it wrong, let's give them some feedback. So we'll change label one text to say incorrect password. All right, so let's see what this looks like. Bring it up on the emulator. I'll type my password in. One, two, three, four, and press login. And there's my picture way down there. It's small because I don't know why. <laughs> I'll have to fix that. Okay, so let's now add the ability to change the password. And I'll make the image come up bigger as well. So I'm going to add a log out button so that we can lock the image again. So I'll just set image one visibility to be false. So now when I press that log out button after I log in, if I log in correctly There's the dog, and then I can log out. Now she's gone again. Okay, so now let's add the ability to change the password. So I'm going to add a checkbox, and I'll name that uh, text for the checkbox change password. And I'm also going to add another button. If I can get that to stick correctly. And I'll put the checkbox in that same horizontal arrangement. So uh, button one, I'll change the name of it to be change password and I'll change the text as well. Reset password. I like that better. I think I'll rename this to be reset password instead of change password. I guess it's the same thing. And I made that so it's not visible most of the time. When the user goes to change the password. If they've already checked that box, let's clean this up here. If they've already checked the checkbox, then I'll make reset password visible. When the button's visible and it works, then we'll reset the variable to be whatever they put in that password text box. And also, I'll make that button go away again after they've clicked it. I also want to make that incorrect password label disappear if they got the correct password. So log in again.
one, two, three, four, and I'll log in. There's the dog. Okay, so I'll log in out now, and I'll check that checkbox. I'll log in again. And now I can type in a new password. I'll just make that 444 and reset password. And now when I log out, if I type in the old correct password, 1234, it no longer works. But if I type in the new correct password, there it is.